here with Mark Rice this afternoon at his uh, very trendy and hip uh, gallery at the Alton Mill in Alton, Ontario. So Mark, it's always great to, to see you again. Great to have you here. Uh, thank you very much. And um, I wanted to hone in on an aspect of your, your profession and perhaps it's, a, it's something that you have mastered that I don't always come across when I deal with, with artists. And that is that you have developed a very su successful business model in addition to being an artist and being able to um, honor your passion and, your, and, your, and, and what it means to be an artist. So how have you managed to blend the two together? Well, I think um, for an artist to be successful in this day and age, you've got to build up a network. You've got to be connected to a lot of people. Um, it's not like in the old days, maybe 500 years ago, where you were the artist of the town and everybody knew it. Now uh, it's a worldwide market and you have to find, make those connections. Um, through social media for me, Facebook is really where my business lives. Mm -hmm. I showcase things on Instagram. Um, I don't worry too much about uh, Twitter and others because it's best to kind of do one thing well. But I find that um, particularly through Facebook, for me I can connect with people literally all over the world, and especially for my commission, for commission work that I do, yes. there's really no borders. Um, and I really, I, I can't say I've ever sent anything to Europe, but I've sent them to Australia and I've sent paint, paintings to the U.S. all the time. Mm -hmm. I have clients in Florida, um, Michigan, Texas, uh, Las Vegas. I mean, paintings go all over the place. And those are often people that only know me through Facebook. They, they never met me personally. They send me a photograph or photographs of the subject, and I give them some ideas as to what size and uh, price I can do for them, and I ship them a finished painting. So that's a, that happens quite a bit in, in my business. Well, good for you because that's a that's a skill that a lot of artists haven't figured out, and uh, so kudos to you, Mark, for being. Well, another thing with that is that I do all, do all my own promotion. I don't have a I've never put any paintings in anyone else's gallery. I have my own gallery here at the Alton Mill, and I have never um, put my paintings in a gallery and, let, and just give it over to someone else to do the do the promotion. Uh, I don't make any prints of my work. I only sell originals, and so for me, that's that's what works, and that's what I. That's why I enjoy doing it. How much of your business is uh, commission work, Mark? I would say um, probably half and half. Probably half commission work. Um, I've always got a backlog of, of commission work to do. And then um, in between times, I try to f find enough time to uh, do something on my own that I'm something I'm passionate about, something I want to explore, and uh, have some stock of paintings uh, to sell as well. But the commission work is, is, is very steady. And, and it can be everything from you know, uh, a pet portrait to a paintings of a tractor to a, to a sign painting of some kind. I'm really, I, I do this about everything. And the other thing that happens often is people might come into this gallery and they might say, oh, I love that painting, but we kind of need something in this shape. For sure. And I say, you know, give me two weeks and I'll give you For sure. something similar in that shape. Or recently, sure. one of the paintings is hanging in here. I painted the whole painting upside down and sideways uh, for a, a different client. They had a different sh place in mind in their house and I can customize it. I'm not, uh, you know, not too proud to make those adjustments for people or even add something to a painting that exists. If there's a painting in here and they say, well, we should have a touch of red. It's like, okay, give me five minutes. I can do that. It's gonna be yours. It's your painting, right? So. We aim to please. Yeah, exactly. And there's no shame in us being promiscuous to do what it takes to sell. Yeah. Yeah. It's right. your painting. They've got to live with it. I'm not gonna, you know, this place got my name on it. I don't have to. You know, say, well, you can't touch that with red paint. But, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll make it the way you you see it. So that's we fine. can just touch on something very briefly. Uh, in that, um, for many artists, COVID, of course, has become a, a major issue, and um, it's across the spectrum. Many artists have found this time to be a good time. They can be productive. They can be in their studios. They they don't have to be absorbed with other other business. For other artists, it's been a terrible time. It's been a lonely time. They are worried about um, what the future holds for them. So what's your take on it? Because I've talked to everybody and it's this, the whole gamut. Yeah, I've had, early on, I, I decided it was a time to have kind of uh, tidy up my studio and edit some things and, and kind of get things reset. And then it was a, definitely a time to paint. Um, all the paintings that are in here, I've done in the past eight weeks. Awesome. Uh, so a lot of production, 
Um, it's cut back. I do some teaching, and it's cut back on, on teaching for me. I don't have the, the people coming into my space. Don't need that right now. Um, but again, since a lot of my stuff is online, that's where I do, do my sales. And uh, people see me post a painting. They ask me right away if they can buy it, and some paintings sell within minutes of me putting them online. So, so that's even more so than the personal contact with people. Has your palette changed uh, since, since? Good question. I definitely, um, I made a shift to paint some in a more monochromatic and very, uh, I don't want to say depressing, but at least more of a um, muted feeling to them. Uh, that a lot of people decorate with that style in homes anyway. But then I broke away from that and went back to powerful color, like the big painting that's behind you. Is that here. the real mark? I hope so. And that's the happy mark, you know, and that's where I want to be. That mm -hmm. painting is called What the World Needs Now. And that really, to me, um, is, you know, what the world needs now is the happiness and the color rather than uh, focused on uh, what's depressing us. So, so I hope that that, uh, you know, serves that purpose. I think we're going to be able to move forward through this time period, Mark, and, yeah. and in fact, I'm quite optimistic about uh, what lies beyond. Yeah, me too. So, yeah. anyway, thank you very much. It's been a true pleasure to thank be you. with you again today. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you.